this is my life now. I've been home for hours. Sunnies are still on top of my head, aren't they? They can just stay there. At this point, they're just literally holding my hair back. Uh, hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. To a new vlog. I'm here over, I'm here over here. Still waiting on my brain cells to come back after giving birth and being pregnant. I just don't think that they are at this point. I don't think that my brain's ever coming back. Five weeks postpartum. And... <laughs> Today I'm, I'm recovering from the hardest 24 hours of my actual life so far. He was super colicky yesterday, all day, and then a good chunk of the early hours of this morning, leading up to about 10, 30, 11, 30 this morning. That's not early, I realise that's half the day, but it was a nightmare. It's all finally out of his system, whatever it was that was upsetting his belly. And uh, I'm very glad that that's over, but I've just got him in the carrier. A little bit of extra love, a little bit of extra kisses and closeness today. Because, uh, yeah, we've we've absolutely been through it, as you guys can imagine. But I was just in Kmart, and they've got Christmas stuff out, and they've got Halloween stuff out. And it's very exciting. I thought these spider lights were really cute. I realised that... For some, this is literally just like, this is trash, but <laughs> this makes my little heart so happy. I thought that I could pop them in the kitchen, like, because they're quite short. Um, I thought that I could just like, maybe hang them off the shelves in there or something. I really don't know, but I just thought they were so stinking cute. I need to find some batteries for these. I'm a big fan of fairy lights, but yeah, welcome back to the vlog. I've missed you guys so much. I feel like the past few weeks have just been crazy. I wish that I had vlogged it, but at the same time, just like mentally, that was not even on my radar, like at all. But yeah, it feels good to be back. I feel like when I'm talking to you guys that I am like being productive or like, I don't know, it's sort of like a diary, I suppose. Like a, like a video, video, video diary. I don't know but yeah I just I miss you guys and I just want to start vlogging and just getting you know not back to not back to how it was but just vlogging this journey because he's already growing so much he doesn't even look the same as he did five weeks ago I feel like the camera's really just super washed out right now what's new I'm always battling with this camera but uh yeah, I just miss you guys. I want to pick up the camera. I don't know what this vlog's going to be. It's probably just going to be a few or maybe maybe a few days, maybe a week with a uh, five-week-old. Isn't that so crazy? He's literally over a month old. Please tell me where the time went because I don't know. But I feel like... <sighs> I... I'm realizing how important it is now like more than ever to do the things that make me happy aside from just looking after him like obviously he's my first priority but I also need to do things for my sanity and for any new mums out there I highly encourage that you do the same having a shower in the morning is not self-care that's what my midwife told me and at first I was like what do you mean it's not self-care of course it's self-care to take a shower no it's not it's hygiene it's literally like a basic essential that everybody is entitled to and everybody needs for me self-care is like doing my nails like that's an extra thing that I get to do now it's obviously not essential but it makes me happy doing my nails and things like reading a book or uh, just things that that I enjoy doing or even just having time to catch up watching my friends on YouTube or just like watching YouTube videos in general like things like that um, just just switching off and having a bit of me time or a bit of you time is very important but yeah trip to Kmart was the best I find that lately on the days where I go to town they're normally the best days because I have a little bit of a routine and like I'll wake up feed him put him down for a nap he wakes up feed him again put him down for a proper nap and then I usually can jump in the shower get myself sorted, have breakfast, whatever, and then head in, meet my sister, have a chai, cup of tea, coffee, whatever, 
and he will always touch wood fall asleep in the car so I have a little bit of sanity but the days when we are home I struggle a lot because pretty much unless I put him in a carrier or swaddle him up really really tight he does not want to nap <laughs> Ooh, okay, I was not expecting these lights to be red. Is it cute or is it awful? <laughs> mm. Aside from that, I just wanted to say a humongous thank you again for all the love on my birth vlog and in the previous vlog as well where I had a mental breakdown. And a lot of you guys said that you went through the same thing or you had like the same sort of birth experience and like birth story. And it sucks. <laughs> it really sucks for all of us, but yeah, I just, it's really nice to know that I'm obviously not alone. And I appreciate it so much that you guys shared your story with me or like what you've been through or just, yeah, it's just crazy. And I'm doing better, but days like yesterday, oof. Don't they? They're just very, very, they really just, they can be very trying. But I'm gonna go hang out with spider lights. <laughs> Clay should be home soon and then hopefully we can go on a dog. W-A-L-K. This room is a complete bomb. I give up on it now. This is just the dumping ground, but Dwayne is down here. He says hi everybody. Dwayne! He was very spoiled by his grandma this morning. He got a, oh this afternoon I should say. He got a Frankenstein toy. A soft toy which I generally don't buy for him because he just destroys them and he has already destroyed it but it was a really great 30 seconds and it made him really happy. Jane's also doing very well if anyone was wondering. He stepped into his role as a big brother very smoothly. Just quickly while we're here I just thought these are so cute. Pumpkin shaped tea lights. Kmart is just producing the goods. Not so much for Christmas stuff though, like I feel like the Christmas stuff they put out so far just is not, it's not my favourite. Wow, you are actually snoring so loud. <laughs> I bought these thinking that they were electric and they're obviously not. They have wicks in the top of them, so I'm a little bit sad about that, but nevertheless, I think they're very cute. Like I said, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Love them. I just think they're adorable. And I feel like this stuff is so fun now. <laughs> oh, but I know that... Hopefully down the track. I feel like I've said this in another vlog, but like with Christmas and Halloween and stuff I feel like you learn to love those because of your parents or because of how you grew up or whatever or Maybe the complete opposite. Maybe maybe you never had that when you were younger or whatever. So you do it now as an adult, but I feel like now every time I buy something like this I remember all of my mum's weird Christmas candles and stuff like that and they were so special to me growing up because I was special to her and I hope that one day he loves all this stuff just as much as I do or hopefully one of my children do it is a new day I nearly just fell over um and today was one of those days I have not brushed my teeth have not washed my face have definitely not had a shower coming at you from uh, my <laughs> maternity bra I've peeled my shellac off due to stress and uh, today, yeah, today, today's really just been a day so um, Clay went back to work, uh, he had three weeks of paternity leave and was at home with us but he's been back to work for the last like two weeks and the last few days Remy just just not want to nap like he's not been the greatest snapper the whole time he's been alive <laughs> basically but um yeah he just will not nap unless he's basically touching me so i've had him in his carrier all day clay's home and i'm cooking dinner and it honestly just does so much for my mental state when i'm able to cook dinner because it's something that i just love to do but it's a really hot day and I am making something I've shown you guys before actually I just came in here just to pick the vlog back up because it's really loud in the kitchen with the exhaust fan on over the stove but it is my chorizo rocket um, sun-dried tomato 
it's sort of like a pasta salad i'm making it now it's about four o'clock and then i'll pop it in the fridge really really easy i'll pop the ingredients um i'll type that all out and pop the method and everything into the description but i shared it before it's really really nice to when you feel like pasta but it's 30 degrees pasta is cooking away probably need to turn that back up i turned it down because i obviously walked away from it chopping out my chorizo the house is in absolute state why doesn't that sound just like go straight through you it just shakes me to my core uh, but yeah i mean i feel good today mentally i feel really really good I've just sort of reached a point where I'm like, it's actually okay if I don't do anything for the entire day, aside from keep the baby alive. It's okay if the house is a complete pigsty, I can always clean it, you know, if I even if I have to wait until the weekend, it's whatever, but if there's one thing that I like to do every day, it's the floors, because the floor, because of this guy, just gets so disgusting. As I literally press record, he would wake up. Oh, you guys, I've had the best day. He has been having the best naps today. As always, Nana is following. Are you coming to get your brother? He is honestly such a Nana dog. It's actually hilarious. Oh, maybe he's just stirring. He's such a faker. Oh. Sleepy boy. I just sometimes feel like I don't know what to do with my life when he's asleep. <laughs> I thought I woke him up, which is just ridiculous because when he's asleep, nothing wakes him up unless you uncover him, like take his blanket off or take him out of his swaddle, or literally start poking him in the face. But you guys, this has been the best day in quite a few days. I feel like I have my sanity back and I just hope that it continues tonight. I've heard the saying that sleep promotes sleep, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that we have a really good night tonight. But yeah, today's been a really good day for me. I've not done my nails, which I'm absolutely dying to do them, but I've pretty much just come to the conclusion that I don't have time anymore to shellac my nails. I'm over it, first of all. I really hate the brand of shellac that I've used for years and I've just kept using it because I can't find anything that I like more. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to jump on the bandwagon of these like chemical free vegan dip powders that keep coming off my Instagram. So I've ordered them and they should hopefully be here tomorrow or the next day, fingers crossed. 
I'll let you guys know how that goes down. My sister has them and she loves them. Speaking of love, I'm back into my Magnolia Parks. There's just nothing like it these books and I'm really just like taking my time with this, entertaining it, enjoying every second of it because the next one doesn't come out until like February. I just, I love these characters. I think about them when I'm not reading the book, which is so rare for me. The only other character that I literally ever think about is Selena Starsk, Stardo, Stardothian, is that how you say her name? I don't know. Anyway, from um, Throne of Glass and I've not even finished that series. I can't wait to dive back into that, but yeah today's just been glorious i'm feeling good i put dinner on early i'm making a gnocchi recipe that i've shared before but i'm not making the gnocchi because i didn't think that i would have time to but it's 5 30 and i would have easily had the time to make the gnocchi but it's fine we just got some like pre-made stuff fingers crossed that it's okay but yeah today today's just been glorious i know i keep hopping on i sound like a bloody broken record but it's raining i'm gonna really miss this weather coming into like further into spring and into summer because these the last few hot days that we've had have just killed my soul but um i mean it's all a part of it unfortunately here in australia the warm weather comes with the best part of the year which are wow that was like an excessively loud sneeze don't you just like some things just get under my skin, that's one of them. <laughs> my husband, you guys. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately this weather comes with the best part of the year. So I'm not going to complain, I can't move to the UK or America. Uh, so we're just going to put up with the heat, but yeah, can't wait. It's Dwayne's birthday in a few weeks, it's Halloween in a few weeks. And then it's literally Christmas, like right around the corner, which I'm so excited for. Come in there now, I think we're on this time. What's going on? Am I literally losing my mind? Like, I swear. When I'm in the shower, I hear phantom cries. When I'm literally just outside, I hear phantom cries. When I am cooking dinner, I hear phantom cries. But I swear to you, he was 100% crying just now. Am I losing my mind? I'm still like, it's the weirdest thing when he's awake and screaming, I'm like, oh my god, he's going to sleep, but then when he's asleep, I miss him. And I just want to wake him up. I've got to knock that up for the sake of my sanity. He was swaddled up so well before. At night time, we put him in these. Um, like love to dream swirls but here he is for his naps during the day I just swirl him in blankets and it's not ideal but I find that I can wrap him up really tight and he seems to really like that but he always sort of like kicks his way out of it which really scares me a little bit but I mean I'm always keeping an eye on him so the sauce is well and truly done, as you guys saw. Oh, that was a lot of water. Um, I'll just need to reheat that. These are the gnocchi that they picked up. So let's cook these and see if they're actually any good. I'm keen to actually try these because if they're good, imagine the time that will save. making it look super weird but let's just do a quick taste test all right sauce saves the day obviously they're a bit like 
I don't know. They're really hard. Talk to them. Hopefully this is getting firmer, you know. Phantom cry this time, you know why? It's not phantom cry, it's because I just sat down. To eat my dinner. We had such a good sleep. We had such a good sleep. Oh my goodness. Hi. Oh, big stretch. What a big stretch. Are you crazy? Hi. He's lost his newborn scrunch. He's lost his newborn scrunchie, guys. You're not even six weeks old yet. You're meant to still be scrunching. So, he's been super gassy lately. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but um, I've been having a colic too, which is what I was sipping on when I read my book earlier. So, I drink it, it comes through my breast milk and fixes you, doesn't it? Makes you boom, makes you fluff. Anyway. Can you come join us at dinner and then I'll give you your dinner? Hmm? Alright, I'll give you your dinner first. Perfect cosy evening. Someone's eating away, aren't you? Oh, big burp. Oh. Big burp. <laughs> big burp. <laughs> it's Benzac, that acne treatment that I used, that's why I stopped using it. Wow. Yeah, I was like, no, I have a baby that cannot get on you. Yeah. Um, can we just take a second to talk about what the heck happened to my pajamas? I thought that Benzac was safe to use while you're breastfeeding. Because as you guys know, I've been struggling with some hormonal acne on my chest, neck, basically everywhere. And so I gave it a try. It did clear up my acne. And then it like severely dried out my skin and apparently it also bleached my pyjamas. And I was absolutely mortified. I only used it the one time. And I was like, wow, this cannot get on Remy. So I've stopped using that, but magically my skin is actually clearing up anyway. Touch wood, uh, because it's been a process, but it's about 10 to 10. I already tried putting Remy down once at about 9 o'clock. Clay's giving him a bottle now, which hopefully will knock him out. And Clay will try putting him down again. And this is the game that he likes to play every now and then. So what works for us one week? won't necessarily work for us the next week. Like we were on a win. I like to be in bed at 8.30, <laughs> between 8.30 and 9.30 usually. And we were managing to get Remy bathed, or bathed, fed, and in bed by eight. And it was glorious. And then that bloody stop, didn't it? That just, that just stopped one week. And yeah, I mean, we're, we're keeping with the same routine but some nights it works, some nights it does not work. Hopefully sooner rather than later he just gets used to it and just goes to sleep at 8 o'clock because that would be glorious. Like we'll put him down and he'll just be wide awake. So I thought maybe this evening and tonight it might be fun to try and record it. By fun, I mean not fun at all. It's actually really not a vibe. Some nights are easier than others and I feel like I'm getting used to it now but some nights when I sit there feeding him, I honestly don't know how I'm even awake. Like, I just am so tired. I thought I was tired when I was pregnant. Mm, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
this is tired. Like this is a whole new level of tired. But yeah. These these few weeks have already gone so quick. I get it now when people say just enjoy the newborn phase. I'm like nothing literally about this is enjoyable. Nothing at all, like hurry up, fast forward. But it's already like my whole life is in fast forward. It's just crazy. So yeah, play will finish giving him the, the bottle. Hopefully put him down. And then hopefully I can go to bed. It's raining. It is cold outside. It is just like I love this weather and I'm gonna miss it so much. When it starts to just get hot and dry. Good morning. <laughs> Last night was rough. It was rough. But um, I'm not complaining. That wasn't that bad. I think he woke up at, what time did he woke up? He woke up at 2 and then again at 5. And we're usually up for about an hour at a time when he wakes up. But he didn't really fall asleep again between feeds last night, which always sort of sucks. But I mean, like I said, I'm not complaining. He's a pretty good baby most of the time. But because he had such a rough night, he's usually a grouch the next day. And he's always so hard to put down for the first nap of the day when he's so cranky the night before. But getting in the car with him is like magic as long as it's during the day. My friend Emily actually worked out that he seems to be scared of the dark. Whenever we put him, well, yeah, the very like few times that I've put him in the car at night time, he just screams. But in here during the day he just falls straight to sleep which is asleep now which is glorious because I've come in I think this is the first time this week that I've actually left the house because I've just I have developed this like lot of anxiety about leaving the house with the child after going out to dinner the other night with my friend <laughs> dinner was lovely but he just had his skits and was on my boob the entire time and I don't know it's just anxiety inducing but yeah he's always good during the day, touch wood, when we come out. So, gonna go get a cup of tea with my sister and probably go straight back home because I keep forgetting that it's school holidays and it's such a shock to the system whenever I leave the house and there's so many people around. It scares me. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the car. Sometimes pulling the pram out just seems like so much effort and I just wanna carry him, but I wouldn't dare do that. <laughs>
I just, I use that for my hair, but, um, I wanted to show you guys what just arrived in the mail. I'm really excited. I think I already mentioned it. Actually, I definitely did mention it, but I feel like I just don't have the time anymore to constantly be doing shellac on my nails, like, every week. So, I ordered this dip powder kit that kept coming up on my Instagram. I paid for this myself. It's not an ad. <laughs> I'm really excited to try it out. I've had a dip powder kit in the past and I hated it so I really really hope that I love this because it kind of cost a fortune. Oh my god I'm hearing phantom cries again it's literally magpies outside. Anyway here it is so the brand is called Glamour Dip. This is what it's looking like. I think this is the ultimate box or something where you get everything that you need so hopefully hopefully this works. Alright, nails are done. That definitely took me a little while, but I feel like that's just because it was my first go. This was the hand I did first. If you couldn't tell, they're a little bit thick and um, not really even. But I still feel like I did a really good job for my first go. And then the second one turned out a little bit better again. They're a bit thinner. Still a little bit uneven, but yeah. Did take me a little while, but the point is, in the long run... I won't constantly be doing my nails, hopefully. I really just would like them to last at least a week or two. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted if anybody's interested. The colour I ended up using is this one. It is called Good Morning. Slap someone. Are you gonna slap someone? Oh my god. <laughs> Come off it. You couldn't be any cuter if you tried. Good morning or good afternoon, I should say. Hi. Oh no, you're not happy to be awake, you're never really happy to be awake, are you? Hi. Hi uh, everybody, I don't scrunch. I don't scrunch anymore. Hi. You stinky. Had a shower, washed my hair, put some makeup on. You know why? Because it's Saturday, and this is the difference it makes when you have somebody to help in the house. I still feel like I'm hearing Phantom Cries, but it's a beautiful day, and uh, I've just gotten ready for the day. Felt like I needed to document this moment, so hello. Anyway, that is it for this vlog. I've just been sat here editing it, and realized that it was a bit of a random week but this is just my life now this is what a typical Monday to Friday really looks like and uh, motherhood's so glamorous I feel like every day is pretty much Groundhog Day I wake up feed the baby put the baby down try and have a shower feed the baby again actually have a shower and then yeah he wakes up and we do the whole thing again. I feed him, run up and down the hallway, bouncing him around to music. At least he really loves music. He must be my son. And um, yeah, the cycle just repeats. What are you crying about? What's the matter? No, the dog's crying. If the baby's not crying, the dog's crying. But anyway, yeah. That is going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed spending the week with us regardless. And I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for being here on this journey with us it really means the world to me that um you guys are here and thank you so much for your love and your support as always and i will see you all in the next video bye